up in terms of weight reduction. The frame is a big piece, obviously, big heavy piece. We looked at all the different components of it and decided to go to some more high strength steel to save weight. We maintain the stiffness, the structure, the reliability of it, um, but we're able to save about 13 pounds in the frame. Uh, our steel wheels, this is of course aluminum, but the steel wheels, which are on our entry level truck, those we just worked with design office, redesigned them, they look a lot better, and they save 18 pounds per vehicle. Huge savings. Other areas we looked at both the body and the box, a lot of, again, the same idea, going to some high strength steels where you maintain the strength and durability, but are able to save, you save about 11 pounds there. Uh, some of the other key things also, of course, aerodynamics. That's the one thing I like to talk about. Aerodynamics, we did a lot of work for the 2009 ramp. We established ourselves as best in class for aerodynamics and have still maintained that. Nobody's beating us up for that. But we're taking it a huge step further forward. One of the big areas is the active, uh, active drill shutters. And you see these up in front. It's a great application for a pickup truck. When you look at the front opening, right, we, we size a huge grill up front for the cooling. When you're out west towing, you know, high temperatures, up big grades, you need a huge amount of cooling and all that air needs to be flowed through the vehicle. But most of the time, you're in the Midwest or wherever, cooler temperatures, you're not towing, you don't need this amount of cooling. So what we're able to do is close off essentially this whole drag. It's a big aerodynamic drag. All that air goes through and just gets sucked into the engine, blocks off creates a bunch of drag. By closing off the front grill area, we're able to flow the air above and around the vehicle and really improve the aerodynamics dramatically. Some other areas, another simple thing, is the air jam, front air jam. We learned something from our Jeep brethren. They, uh, in the new Grand Cherokee, extended the air dam down, improving aerodynamics easily, but they used what's called a Santa Fe, it's a soft rubber. And it's a beautiful thing because you can take advantage of improved aerodynamics yet not give up off-road ability. Because it's a soft rubber, you can run into rocks, concrete blocks, whatever. It'll flip, bend out of the way and pop right back into position. So it's a great, great technology. I think uh, both Greg and uh, Fred talked about the side steps. We redesigned, one of the things, we were in the wind tunnel, take rates on the side steps have gone up. People, people really like side steps. We're concerned, are they an aerodynamic drag? Well, we put them in a wind tunnel and actually found out the opposite. It's a big improvement in aerodynamics. It helps keep the flow of the air from getting in the wheel well area, um, smooth under, underneath the vehicle. And then, as I think Greg mentioned, by extending the wheel to wheel, we call these wheel to wheel side steps, we actually improve that even further and improve the airflow in the rear of the vehicle. Uh, all in all, we're able to achieve by far best in class, 0.36 CD. That's not, no one in the truck world, including the midsize trucks, is even close. We're in a range of the, the middle of the pack in terms of sport utilities and aerodynamics. Really a tremendous achievement for the Ram. We are the only guys who could actually do this because we have a five link coil rear suspension. So we're able to take the Jeep Grand Cherokee air suspension system and adapt it to the Ram truck. Just like the Grand Cherokee, we have four customer selectable ride heights. Off-road two, which gives us a best-in-class ground clearance. Off-road one, for a little higher speed off-road. The normal ride height, and then the uh, kneel mode or entry exit mode, which lowers the vehicle about two inches from normal ride height. As Fred mentioned, it's one of the great things in a truck that makes a lot of sense. You've got a bed, you want to load stuff into. It's beautiful to be able to put it in that kneel mode, load your stuff in, it take off and, the, and it'll raise up to the normal ride height. Also for aerodynamics, at highway speeds above about 60 miles an hour, it'll drop down into aero mode, improving the aerodynamics.